Hi guys, this is Srikanth Dasari. So today we are going to learn some basics about uh, C programming. So now let me launch the IDE which we are going to use. Uh, Visual Studio which is Visual Studio 2005 uh, Express Edition. Sorry, Visual C++ 2005 Express Edition. So as you all know, Microsoft uh, launches the Express Editions for their subsequent uh, releases of uh, Visual Studio. So this is uh, one of the Express Edition, uh, which is very old, uh, 2005. The current uh, version uh, which is running is 2013, Visual Studio 2013 Express Edition. So the reason I have chosen uh, 2005 Express, because um, basically it is uh, very lightweight and uh, which is more uh, comfortable uh, for doing uh, minimalistic uh, C programming uh, especially for uh, learning purpose okay so before uh, diving into C programming we have to first uh, create a project in uh, Studio Express Visual C++ Express Edition the, the way to create a project is to click on the file new project and as soon as you click uh, file new project you get three uh, options here CLR, Win32 and General so select the general tab and uh, click the empty project and uh, name uh, some uh, give some name to your project uh, like uh, hello world proch Okay, whatever you want it and click OK. If you observe in the left side under the solution explorer, you have three different uh, folders here. Uh, this folder structure is uh, created by the Visual C++ Express Edition. Header files, resource files and source files. So our C source files will sit under this uh, source files folder. So we have to create a new file here and to write code uh, so right click on the source file add new item again you get uh, four different options here ui code data and property sheets and you select the code option under the code you take uh, cpp file here the reason it's showing as dot cpp because the default extension for uh, visual c plus plus is uh, cpp which is the because the people are more intended to, intended to write uh, C++ programs in uh, Visual C++ or Visual Studio uh, editions. So since C++ is the superset of C, we can create uh, files using the uh, .c extension. So here the important note is uh, whatever the C programs you are going to learn will have the .c extension. So let us create a file with .c extension here. Let us say it as hello world.c. Okay, and click enter. So you get a .c file under the source files here, hello world, which is a blank, blank file here. To make us ourselves comfortable, let us view it in full screen by clicking the view and the full screen option here so the default this is the default uh, uh, file which is which has nothing to do so we have to write uh, some set of instructions as you studied the program is set of instructions we have to type some uh, instructions so that it would uh, run and give some results to ourselves okay so any program, uh, C program starts with uh, the header file, okay. The header file, which is nothing but uh, an include statement with pound sign and followed by the name of the library. So basically there are two important header files in C, hash include stdio.h and hash include coneo.h. So these two header files contains a set of library functions predefined uh, in them with dot h extension here so the compiler understands that uh, as soon as it sees the header files uh, the compiler understands the programmer has used some library files 
library functions sorry library functions which were included in these uh, header files so the next line would be uh, void main void main which is a function the reason we are uh, we quickly recognize that it is a function because it is followed by a parenthesis and a block of and a section of code uh, under this curly braces here okay so the whole thing is a function the main is a very important function the main is the entry point to any program where the execution starts okay so main is very very essential uh, for every c program or c++ program or whatever the programming language even though you write uh, 10000 lines of code the entry, the execution of the program starts from the main itself okay so next let us write some uh, write one small printf statement using the printf function here okay the print the sole purpose of the printf function is to print a message so whatever you are uh, giving under this uh, quotations here it would print on the output screen okay so let us um, run the program in the visual studio you can run this program visual c++ by going to debug and uh, start without debugging option here okay so that gives you the output so whatever uh, you have given on the print the printf statement the same thing is going to be seen in the output let us stop the debugging again let us run the program so if you observe in the printf statement you have given the hello world statement and this press any key to continue is the feature which is uh, automatically added by the visual studio or else you can run your program in another uh, way by clicking the start debugging option here if you observe the output has uh, quickly disappeared when you are clicking uh, start debugging or else you can press f5 simply the reason is it doesn't uh, wait for the user to give some input so you can solve this small problem using a get ch function okay so get ch is a function which takes a user input a keystroke as an input from the user so now if you run the program it stays until users give some uh, input enter or any key until he presses any key okay so this is the basic c program uh, which has uh, include statement include statements which are also called as header files which contains uh, for example if you take printf it stored in the header file hdio.h if you take uh, get ch uh, which, is, which is a library function predefined library function it is stored in the conio.h okay so this is the basic uh, c program so see you in the next lesson goodbye